you know, you're looking at your son that used to lift a couple hundred pounds easy, now he can't pick up five pounds. The lockout positions. I don't even think anybody's ever told me he was paralyzed. We just knew it. Just behind you. The minute you second guess yourself is the minute you're gonna get hurt. Oh God. <laughs> his attitude, yeah, he's hurt, he's paralyzed. But his attitude has been so high, so energetic. I was in my perfect position. And you're looking at 15 to 2,000 pounds worth of pure muscle trying to kill you. I just grew up trying to help people out, putting them before me. That kind of leads to where I started fighting bulls. You're gonna go get in a ring with a wild animal, they're gonna try to hurt you. It's kind of like a rodeo clown. I liked it, I liked being around the bulls. They're, they're amazing animals. I mean, anybody getting in on a bull or stepping in front of them, you got some guts. I stepped in and that bull just happened to turn back and he picked me up. He ran me over and folded me in half. I couldn't move, so my first thought was, I'm paralyzed. You ready for a push? How are we gonna get through this? How are we gonna live? Now push off, slide him back. Perfect. It was just when I felt my whole body just go numb. Up we go. You know, it's the, it's really hard for a parent to see their kid in this kind of a state. Completely shattered my five and six. Surgeon told my parents that it's one of the worst he's ever seen and ever worked on. So now we had to figure out what are we gonna do now? I just gotta accept it, you know, and, and move on from what happened. That means we go about life in a different way, that's all. To me, Craig was the best place to bring him. I don't consider it as a hospital. I consider it somewhere where people can get better and make their lives better. They're the best in the world as far as rehab, teaching you how to live, uh, live with what you have. And so it meant the world to us to, to, to be able to bring him uh, to the best place in the world because a lot of people can't afford it. They don't have insurance. And that helps to rock your hips back and then your dad can slide your chair out. Imagine that, my legs were that high but they were over my head when I got hurt. Oh. That's ridiculous, huh? That's a, that's a pancake. That is a pancake. So right. we're pretty fortunate to be able to bring him here. It's made me a lot more independent than what I was when I first got here. I couldn't really move my shoulders too much and I mean I couldn't even lift my arm and now you know I'm getting it up there. He hasn't changed, he's still Jeremiah. He just, he just in a chair. It's made me a lot more humble, a lot more appreciative of my parents. My son is the greatest kid I could ever ask for. Going back to the ranch is gonna be something Something a little more difficult now because I'm in a chair, but it doesn't mean it's impossible.